the last time that we had talked, I can't remember exa- specifically what it was about, but um, I was reading a little bit about, well, one of the things that, that, that you had always focused on in our conversations was the, the, the personalized nature of ordering from FlexScreen, you know, being able to, to get the dimensions and, and get them, you know, done to your exact specifications. And so I guess I kind of maybe wanted to start there. Um, tell me a little bit about the, the automated line that, that you guys are, are sort of working on and um, how that relates to, you know, sort of what you had talked about as the foundation of, of FlexScreen, being able to get anybody any size screen that they need. Yeah, one of the challenges that, that we have um, with our manufacturing is they're all unique, right? I'm not, I'm not making a bunch of 24 by 24 inch um, screens, you know? So there is, uh, we have less than 2% re- repeated sizes across our entire company, across oh, wow. all seven manufacturing okay. plants. So um, that, that has a unique challenge to it, um, you know? And, and so early on, we had to invest in automation to, to be able to make those those sizes. Now our automation is more about our growth and the the capacity that we need as we as we grow. Right. Um, as you know, you know people have been um, a challenge. What, what, not not people, but hiring people and and retaining people ha- has been a challenge for almost every business yeah. out there. And so we, um, it looks like we had a crystal ball as we were as we were doing this, but we started this um, full automation project about three years ago. So this is, you know, prior to COVID, right. you know, we, we started working. And um, now we're having our first, um, what we consider a fully automated line uh, delivered into our export facility um, sometime late February, early March. Okay. So, um, but it's, it's, it is the fastest window screen production line in the world, <laughs> so which is which is really cool. Um, bragging rights for us for the you know three other people that care about that. <laughs> but, uh, um, but it is it, what it allows us to do is it, it allows us to um, uh, really simplify the jobs within our our manufacturing, um, so that uh, you know it doesn't take a lot of training. Um, you know we. It takes less um, employees. Now we're not planning on laying anybody off. Or, like we're just repurposing them right. into easier jobs, uh, and so, um, so like I said, it's it's a really big deal for us, um, and you know it's it's pretty incredible. It has a huge price tag. I mean, automation <laughs> of any sort um, is is extremely expensive. You know, for for this line, and I make window screens, right? They're not they're not. Um, I'm not making cars um but this this line you know is a million and a half dollars well and that's that's a big deal for for any business that's looking to sort of ramp up right is is to not just want to do it but to have the ability to to get to where you need to be in order to to ramp up in that way it, it does i mean it, it takes a commitment it, it's not um it's not just a financial commitment although automation is a financial commitment yeah. i mean it, it just is but you also have to have the commitment from your team uh, and you know my team, my executive team, and and my my people that have driven this this project forward, to um to keep going, you, you know, to keep driving it, driving the the project forward because it's yeah that w- that was one of the other things I wanted to ask about. You know, it it um I I was watching recently a um a documentary about the the collapse of the steel industry in in Western Pennsylvania, mm-hmm. and and that was one of the things that they talked about was that, you know, they were talking to guys who were working in the plants, and they were saying like. We're still making steel the exact same way that we have been making it for the last two decades, and Japanese steel makers are doing it a different way that's much more efficient and much better. And we don't understand why we're not doing it. So is that is that part of it as well? You know, looking to continue innovating in in this field as much as it can be done. Yeah, our um, our competition, you know, the people that make regular window screens, um, the way that they make window screens is almost the same as that they did in the early 1900s. You saw some aluminum. And you use that little rubber spline and you use a, a hand tool to make screens. I mean, there's just has not been any technological advances, mainly because no one has had to, right? They right. they just they're like, hey, we we make money doing it this way and and no one's complaining about it. Or everybody complains about it, but no one has is putting the the push to make it better. Yeah. Um, just go out and get another window screen. <laughs> exactly. I mean, we have millions of dollars wrapped up into this. Yeah. You know, for again, ten dollar window screens, you know, like these very inexpensive this in- inexpensive product. So um, you know, to have, uh, you know, a team that has the vision for like, Hey, we can do this better. And we're willing to, we're willing to put our, 
efforts towards that um, and passion towards it. Because mm -hmm. again, there's a lot of time, especially when you're, you're doing something new with a project where it's really easy to walk away and go, well, we tried, you, right. you know? Right. Um, and so so to overcome those things is, has been, um, uh, again, I, I give all the credit to, to my team because they've, you know, they pushed through some of the, the what we thought were roadblocks um, and, you know, came through the other side to now where this um, piece of equipment that's coming in is, is it's going to change our, our company, but it's also going to change our industry. Um, so you uh, you had also talked, I, I know we discussed before about, uh, you know, sort of moving flex screen into larger commercial spaces like, uh, you know, big box stores. Is this automated line something that's going to help with that? Um, like, for example, if you're talking about um, selling screens at a place like Lowe's or a Home Depot, is that a place that will use your technology or, or your sort of business model, the way you developed it in the sense that people would order a customized screen uh, via Home Depot and that order would come to Flex Screen, or are they looking to say, order a whole bunch of a particular size of window screen because of you know their sales volume in a particular uh, area? So so there's two there's two things that um, that this technology allows us to do. So, for, so first of all, we're you know in Home Depot and Lowe's, of course the more efficient that we are manufacturing those those products to ship them out to the homeowners and the more accurate we are with the automation and all those things, it makes that experience better and makes it easier for Home Depot and Lowe's. Like we're already in Home Depot. Mm -hmm. um, I believe that we're gonna be in Lowe's um, by this spring as well. And is Home Depot ordering, you know, like big batches of say like that size screen at once or are they, you know, bring, are, are they ordering it, you know, one one house at a time essentially? One house at a time. So okay. a homeowner would go in um, and, and, you know, either do it online or go into the store. Gotcha. And they would say, hey, here's the my measurements that I need for, okay. for the screens. Yeah. And so then the screens get made and they get shipped out to the, to the homeowner. Um, the big change for us though is with this automated line and how efficient it is, now window manufacturers, so people that, that make the, the, the windows, they can put this line on their floor and essentially pay us a royalty. You know, we, we license the technology to them. Right. Um, they buy this, this line. Now they can make flex screens cheaper than they can make the old style screens. And so that's a big change. We already have companies that have bought these lines. Um, and th so there's a waiting list for these lines and, and we haven't even got our first one yet, which is <laughs> which is really exciting. So would it, would it be more accurate to compare it to, I mean, maybe not like an, an apples to apples comparison, but is it is it comparable to the way that say McDonald's franchises its, uh, its restaurants? You know, like we want to sell McDonald's. Here's all, the, here's all the stuff that you need to do it. You get it from us. And and it works that way. Yeah, very very similar. We're we're not a franchise. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, we're we're just we're just licensing technology. Right. But um, it would be uh, yes. It, it, like I mean, that very, would be the easiest. That would be the easiest like way to explain it to somebody simply. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um. I, I mean, a good a good way of looking at it is like, like Apple CarPlay. Right. Right. So Apple gets a little cut of every of every wind of a very car that has CarPlay right. in it. Right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And so they provide the technology, and they're like, yeah, yeah, you can put this in your Mercedes, you can put this in your Ford or whatever. Gotcha. Then Apple gets a couple bucks off of everyone that they install. So okay. it's very similar to that. Very cool. Yeah. Um. And so you know, as you are are looking to put this in uh, uh into place, you know, what what are you guys sort of looking at in terms of of uh, future innovation or things that, um. And, and and maybe it's too early to, to 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 be thinking about something like this, but you know things that this line may allow you to do that that you weren't expecting when you sort of set out to put it in place. Well, I mean, the the first thing was we weren't we weren't expecting it to be as fast as as it is, which is crazy that that they exceeded our expectations. That the automation company that built this for us they exceeded our expectations, but we're also not going to sit on our hands. You mm -hmm. know, we're already talking to them about ways of improving it. Um, you know, so, you know, we're looking at this with a, you know, five to seven year plan of iterations of, you know, or generations of, of equipment where, you know, hey, generation one is fantastic. And maybe two years, generation two is coming out what has some, some improvements. It's a little bit faster, you know, things like that. Mm -hmm. You know, generation three, generation four, you know, those types of things. So, I mean, that's the, the big thing. The, the other thing that it allows us to do because the employee count is, is reduced, um, we can expand our geography faster. So we can open up more manufacturing plants. So we have, there's seven manufacturing plants that, that make flex screen today. 
Um, now I can go in, put you put one of these lines into a, a smaller footprint, um, smaller building, um, have less employees needed. Now I can be manufacturing flex screens in Texas or Arizona and, and do it much faster. We opened a, a plant in, in New Hampshire this past year and uh, it took us six months to get it up and running. Yeah. Um, you know, from the time we signed the lease to we were actually making screens. With this new line, we could be up and running in six weeks. Oh, wow. So big difference. Um, and um, and w when you're looking for uh, a location to, to, to put a new manufacturing facility, uh, I, I had done a story about, I'm sure you've seen the gargantuan uh, uh, distribution warehouse that's going in uh, at the bottom of 66. Oh, yeah, there. yep. I've never seen I've, I've never seen a building like that before, like or especially like been near such a large uh, uh, scale building like that. Um, whenever you're looking for a new facility, you know, I, you know one of the things that they had said was like, "We're right there on the uh, on the bypass. We're right there near 70. We're right there near the turnpike." You know, mm -hmm. is, is is that the type of thing that 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 you're looking at whenever you're you're eyeing uh, property for a new facility? You know, proximity to highways, the ease of getting this product to wherever it needs to get to. Yeah, so um, uh, up to this point, we have kind of built our, our manufacturing facilities as build it and they will come. Gotcha. Um, in the, uh, uh, starting with the New Hampshire facility that we opened up um, this past year, we signed um, buying agreements with a local window manufacturer. And so then we placed our facility in um, close proximity to them. Okay. Um, because we're a just-in-time supplier. So they, they gotcha. placed orders with us for screens on Monday. We're delivering them on Tuesday. Right. So... So we want to be close to them, but then also to your point, we also look at logistics. We look at um, demographics. You want to make sure that the workforce is good, you, right. you know, and, and affordable. You know, there are certain demographics. Like you put a you put a uh, a manufacturing plant in downtown New York. Guess what? I can't afford to make little. You know, I can't afford to make screens there anymore. <laughs> That's um, going to be an expensive flex <laughs> it's screen. It's going to be a very expensive flex <laughs> screen. But. Um, but again, what the what the this line has done is so our, our export facility has a little over forty thousand square feet under roof. Now we can get into buildings that are fifteen thousand. Okay. You know, so we can get into much smaller facilities um, and produce the same amount of of units. So it kind of brings down your front end cost as exactly. well. Exactly. Yep. Okay. Very cool. Um, and so. Uh, with this uh, with this award that you're being recognized with, you know, what does it mean to you to in a pretty relatively short period of time, you know, to be mentioned in the same breath as companies like, like you mentioned, you know, Pepsi and and these big corporate um, behemoths. Really, I mean, yeah, the the um, you know, I'm humbled by it. <laughs> Again, I, I don't know how else to put it. I mean, this was in my garage, you, you know, eight years ago, and and now to, to your point, you know, we're we're winning awards that Dow and Pepsi and Dell computers are winning, you know, the same awards. And and that is, um, I get a little choked up even thinking about it. Um, so it's, it, it, it's really, um, uh, I don't know. It's, it's a dream come, come true. I mean, the, the, um, you know, and especially for, for this, because, uh, you know, we, the, the, the selection committee, um, asked for plans and, and videos and stuff like that. And so we, we sent this stuff in, um, and they saw what we see. You know, that's yeah. that's the other thing too. Is as an entrepreneur, I can convince myself of anything, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, but to, to have you know have a completely outside my industry, completely outside impartial judges that that know technology, and for them to say this is something special, um, that's that's big. That's big for me, and it's big for for the team that helped us get there. Awesome. Well, uh, like I said, I really appreciate you taking the time to uh, to talk with me. My pleasure. Thanks a lot. Absolutely.